morning. You've reached last date. This is Abby. How may I help you? Hello. I'd like to confirm if my breakup order is being processed today. Your name? Nigel. Nigel Johnson. Nigel Johnson. Ah, yes. You're breaking up with Bridget at Ealing Park Tavern today at 3pm. It's your favourite pub and you have booked your favourite table. Don't worry, Nigel. Our chief breakup officer is handling your breakup himself. As of 4 p.m. today, you will be a free man. Bridget? Nigel? My name's Emily. I'm here for Bridget. Ah. Oh. This makes things a bit awkward. <laughs> I'm Matt. I'm here for Nigel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, sit down. <laughs> this is a first for me? Yeah. <laughs> what agency? Oh, I'm a freelancer. You? Last date. Ooh, national. I own the local franchise. Hiring. I'm always looking for talent. <laughs> well, since we've both been paid, why don't we order? Oh yeah, what can I get you guys? Guinness for me. Guinness? Bridget mentioned he drinks only gin and tonic. Keep this authentic. James, that's with gin and tonic, please, on the rocks. Gin and tonic on the rocks and... I'll have the house red, please. House red, please. So, how do you get into this? One day, my girlfriend asked me to handle a situation for her. I didn't jump, so she had a 50 quid. For 50 quid, I'd break up Will and Kate. <laughs> so she told a friend who told a friend, and pretty soon I started getting calls. How about you? I read a blog about a guy who had it done to him. Mm. So I did some research, found a need, developed a business model. Last date, we were selling franchises. So, a bit. You exist on word of mouth. Well, my name bubbles to the top of a Google search list, so I get inquiries that way. And I have a work presence, but it's mostly word of mouth. Women network. You enjoy this line of work? I do and I don't. I mean, giving people bad news isn't fun, but I do get a sense of accomplishment when someone accepts his new status. They don't all get it though, do they? <sighs> Is there a market for giving bad news? Well, research says that the average relationship lasts 217 days but most people wish they'd ended it sooner. According to Bridget, you're overbearing. <laughs> Want me to scowl? I'm just doing my job. <laughs> then you should probably ask for my mobile too, so you can check my calls. Paranoid. And a bit frigid. But most of my clients say that, so. Well, you're not that good in bed either. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so tell me, what was your toughest assignment so far? A gay guy who couldn't believe he was being dumped. Aww. He kept insisting that I was banging his boyfriend. <laughs> Did he hit on you too? <laughs> Do you get that? Occasionally. Some guys look at a woman and see a challenge. No wonder their women are breaking up with them. Cheating is the number one reason women call me. It's clinginess for men. Women suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> I had a client who flew me across the country to read an essay to her long distance significant other. I had to wear a puce top, a tight white miniskirt and black stiletto heels. I had to deliver the manifesto at 6pm in his favourite bar in front of his crew. He wanted to leave after the first page but his half drunk mates made him listen to all 10 pages. They cheered when I walked out. <laughs> you can go sit with her if you like. Oh no, we, we have rules. Like you're not giving her the eye, you're practically undressing her. Do attractive women threaten you? Threaten? No more than hungs threaten you. <sighs> Feel free to ogle any hunk that comes along. See, that's the problem with men. They assume women fixate on looks like men do. So, you mean you've never dumped guys because they look more baked potato than beefcake? My clients dump potatoes, not me. So, you're okay with a blob for a boyfriend? I try to look pass out what appearances. Oh, come on. That's advice column pap. Humans are drawn to beauty for a reason. Don't feel bad about it, embrace it. I can see why I'm breaking up with you. You're totally superficial. <laughs> Big tits round ass, that's all you really need, isn't it? You're not breaking up with me, you're breaking up with Nigel. And since he gave me an idea of your looks, I'd say he wasn't overly concerned with beauty. You're just like the rest of them. 
The only thing you commit to is non-commitment. Why is it the first thing a woman does is to shackle the man she's with? It's the nesting instinct on steroids. Men need chains. <laughs> Without chains, they'd abandon wife and kids for the first skirt that happens past. Without chains, untamed men would find and spit and screw and disappear. Without chains, society becomes a thing of the past. <laughs> what we have is a world where the strong will lead the weak and where families are no longer dysfunctional because there are no more families. Women smother like blankets. They latch onto a man of passion and drive and bury the flames beneath layers of drama and tears until not even a spark remains. They destroy dreams with disposable nappies and parent-teacher conferences. If that's not enough, they pile on computers, mortgages, mobile phones and limitless credit cards and to make sure the men can never fulfil their destinies, they add sobs and suspicions until the sound of it won't even allow a man to think. Pig. Bitch. Oh! Well, what do you have to say to that? You've got my card. Why don't you give me a call in the morning? What? You deserve that. Amber? Who are you? I'm Roy. I'm here for Jen. You're what?